This is the story of a busy city, once full of life, and a village not far away, which the noise and pollution of the city couldn't reach. Each day, the village cats came home and waited for their owners to come back. But one day, the cats returned to find that all the people had gone. They waited, but no one ever came back. The cats stayed alone in the village, and gradually the wild creatures of the nearby forest began to join them. Together they made it a new kind of home, where only animals lived. It seemed like the best place in the world. Wolves and wild boar all roamed free, because there were no people to hunt them. As time passed, the old village became a haven for hundreds of different creatures. But this place had a dreadful secret. This was Chernobyl, and everyone had suddenly left because of a terrifying event. They were all escaping one of modern man's greatest fears, a nuclear disaster, which had cast a spell on this place, a spell that couldn't be lifted for many thousands of years. This is the exclusion zone of Chernobyl today, like a fabled lost city, devoured by forest, it's fast becoming a green and peaceful place. But it will forever be remembered as the location of the worst nuclear accident in history. In 1986, this place was the site of a nuclear meltdown. No one's been allowed to live here for over 20 years, and today it stands as an abandoned testament to the terrible effects of nuclear disaster. The Ukrainian city of Pripyat, now a ghost town, lies close to the border with Belarus and just to the north of the destroyed nuclear power plant. For the whole of mankind, this place is a forbidden zone. On the outskirts of the city are empty rural villages surrounded by woodland. Many of these villages have become refuge for an unexpected mixture of forest wildlife and the descendants of Chernobyl's abandoned pets. Where families once lived and children played, there are now abandoned houses where time seems to have stood still. This is a story of some of the animals that have made this forsaken place their home. A place they don't appear to sense is contaminated. But as radioactive as it is, there are no more pesticides, no industry, no traffic. Among relics of a not too distant past, this female cat has made a home for herself and her new litter. Three young kittens, still dependent on her for milk. She was born here too, three years ago. She may be a house cat like her mother and grandmother before her, but few creatures here will ever see a human being. Inside the house, life goes on as normal. But outside, nature has started to make changes. With the people gone, nature is beginning to win back this land. The relentless growth of the encroaching forest is gradually reclaiming the untended gardens. Without anyone to make repairs, the houses have fallen into decay. And as the forest slowly creeps in, so do the wild inhabitants creatures that the people were so determined to keep out. Among them are brown bears, 
absent here for over a century, and until recently confined to forests many miles away. Two young brothers who have left their mother not long ago, and they're trying to find their own way in the world. This might look like bears trying to steal honey from a hive. But they're more interested in any bee larva that might be inside. When the young bears aren't playing, they're hungry. Nearby, there's an apple orchard. The trees here still produce a great deal of fruit and the bears are keen to take advantage. But his climbing days are numbered. He's far too big for this kind of thing. And there are much easier ways for a bear this big to get apples from a tree. Like brute force. Back in the days when Pripyat was a busy industrial city, no one saw bears in the surrounding forests. But in the years since the people abandoned this place, they've started to reappear. For them, this place has become an unlikely sanctuary. They pass through the zone and its villages and into the forests beyond its borders. And when they visit, they'll take advantage of anything they can find. The scent left by the cat lingers around the gap where she goes in and out. But it's far too small for him to get through. And the door is locked. But not for long. Leaving their table manners in the forest, they ransack the house for anything they can eat. But finding nothing tasty on offer, it's time for breaking and exiting. And it's not just bears that have discovered a ghost town can make the perfect sanctuary. Beyond the houses and gardens, numerous other species are beginning to reappear in healthy numbers. Among them are elk and deer. Both would have been hunted so close to human habitation, but not anymore. Brzezalski's horse can be found here, too. Incredibly rare. They're the only true modern descendants of the original wild horse. They were introduced here in 1998 because the exclusion zone had started to show signs of becoming a natural sanctuary for other species. To everyone's surprise, as houses and roads disappeared beneath a miniature forest, Mother Nature began to reclaim this place from the ground up. Plants flourished and provided food for insects. The food chain was gradually re-established with such extraordinary diversity that it stunned the scientists. What they saw was nothing like the nuclear desert they expected. They even found endangered species, over 40 animals that were listed as protected. What man had abandoned, nature now embraced to create a remarkable and self-made haven. Where, for many years to come, the wildlife can live undisturbed by man. From the smallest pollinators to large grazing 